everybody. I actually had my second video from last week, but I couldn't upload it because I answered the Brazilian blowout question completely wrong and I didn't want to post it and then have like this wrong answer. About a year ago, I only have three questions left from this week and then I'll do another interview next week with Bill and Bill was in the other interview. So this whole thing just got messed up. But um, about a year ago, Nicole Ritchie started talking about Brazilian blowouts and what it was, was basically a, a blowout with the carotene put in your hair and it was a little over $100 and I thought it was actually ridiculous. When I went to go get my hair done last weekend when I interviewed Rocco Despirito, they had these huge signs, Brazilian blowout, and I asked my stylist, I was like, what is this? And basically, it's the carotene treatment, which is the one that gets rid of the frizz, but instead of you having to keep it in your hair for three days, there's no time that you have to keep it. You get it done, and then you can wash your hair the very next day. So, and I think it costs more, too. I think it's like $350 instead of... I think it was $100 an ounce for the carotene when I did it. And I think I needed like two ounces. I don't remember what it was, but it is more than the carotene. And um, I'm still not sold on whether or not it's good or not. So that's just my take. Uh, that that was from Sherry. And then she said she's never had a facial and I'm considering it. Like, I don't even understand that you've never had a facial. I don't understand what you're saying, Sherry. That's the only thing I want. Like, I don't, you cannot possibly buy me anything else that I will want more than a day at a spa. There's nothing in the universe that you can give me more. What we do is we combine things. So we combine like birthday, anniversary, and Christmas all in one because it's all you know, two Novembers and one December. And then I just do like some big thing. So, um, you know, any advice, I can't give you advice because it's really on a person-by-person -person basis. It's not even spa-by-spa. Spa. It's person-by-person. Person. Once you find somebody you like, you just stick with them. And um, I find it's easier to get a better, a good masseuse anywhere you go. Like, you know, a rub down is a rub down. But the facial, um, you know, you ha it's, a, it's a lot of, like, trying out different people. And then once you find somebody, you stick with them. Uh, and then one more thing I'm going to say about that. I don't like continuously going to the same person because then then the whole thing is talking and I don't want to talk. So I like kind of almost having new people a lot. I, I usually don't ask for the same person more than a few times, like which is bittersweet because even if I know they're good, I, don't, I still don't want to go with them because then by then they know what I do. And then the whole time is about me helping them start a blog. Every time I talk to somebody... Um, I suddenly become their advisor and it kind of kills it when I'm trying to relax. Um, from Europe wants to know, do I have time to read other people's blogs? No, isn't that so bad? Um, I keep up on my on Facebook and I read every single comment that's posted on Lady in the blog. So anytime you leave me something, even if I don't write back, I read it, I take it into consideration, I listen to your advice. Um, I just kind of don't have time to spend any more time on the web. So if I'm working, I'm on the web. If I'm not working, I'm off the web. And also from Europe, do you have time to wear all your clothes you buy? You buy so much. I don't know anyone who shops or buys as much as you do from Europe. I feel like you're my husband in disguise right now. Um, of course I have time to wear my clothes. I don't know. I don't think I have a lot of clothes. I mean, first of all, I want to say that 95% of the clothes that I buy are free. Like, it's not even like I'm spending any money. I get a lot of gift cards from PR companies, and I get um, credit from Ideally, and I don't, like, spend any money. Or, like, companies send me clothes to try on so I can write about them. It's not... Um, it's not like I'm a impulse shopper or something. Like I, I feel like that's how it's coming off. And I've actually stopped doing fashion hauling videos because of that. Like I've gone shopping like five times since my last fashion haul, but I haven't done it because I don't want to look like I'm this big shopper when I really, I don't spend any money on it. Like it's not like I'm bringing us down into the red or anything. So, um, but yeah, of course I have, I find time to wear my clothes. I, you know, I mean, 
the dresses maybe not so much, but everything, every my everyday wear, I absolutely get around to wearing it. Bill, I'm gonna start from Europe. I'm gonna start calling you Bill. Uh, that's it. So if you have any questions next week, Bill is absolutely coming back. He was very upset that there was no questions for him on this thing. He was like, "What's the matter? They all forgot about me already." So um, leave your questions on this post, and we will get back to you next week. Bye.